breathing, then guess what? You need to be serving. It is the very purpose of life and not something we do in our spare time. I don't know about you, but I love our Philadelphia community because we take that idea to heart. And I see and honor the work you all do every day of the year. Today, we celebrate Dr. King's life. Yes, he was a man of service. He was a man of faith. He changed the world with the power of his commitment and his love. And guess what? You can too. He is one of the most important lives ever lived. But we cannot glide over the fact of the man's death. He died because a murderer took up a gun against him. And today, more than a century later, our citizens continue to die from gunfire, especially young people of color, those people whom Dr. King loved and fought for the most. So again, I thank local citizens. I thank all of you for being here today and the leaders of Greater Philadelphia for making the fight, because that's what it is. We are in a fight against gun violence, a focus of today's remembrance. We must act as a community to protect not just ourselves but everyone and turn the tide on this public health crisis. I'm proud to note again that Independence Blue Cross along with others is part of the Coalition to Save Lives. The Coalition is bringing together public, private, and philanthropic resources to help reduce and eliminate the toll of gun violence. And it's a bit about collaboration. Again, I almost feel, I know we're still in this pandemic, but we need to join hands and join hearts and collaborate together as community and engagement. We can and will make a difference. So let us keep in mind Dr. King's belief in nonviolence and a stronger, more equitable society. And as 